YouTube is punishing one of its biggest stars, Logan Paul, days after he posted video of the body of a man who had committed suicide in Japan. Did we just find a dead person in the suicide forest hanging? Well, YouTube said yesterday Logan Paul's channels are being removed from its Google preferred platform. YouTube is also cutting Paul from the series and suspending his original projects. The suicide video was up for 24 hours. It has been seen about six million times before Paul removed it himself and apologized. Logan Paul, who is 22, is known for his high energy videos. He has more than 15 million YouTube subscribers, and he is YouTube's fifth highest paid star, reportedly earning more than $12 million last year. Now, YouTube has not made any policy changes about controversial or graphic video, even after Paul's post from Japan. Issy Lepowski is a senior writer at Wired and joins us at the table to discuss. Hey, Issy. Hi. So he's, he made a lot of money for YouTube. He made a lot of money for himself. They've taken action, but is it enough? Well, this has been YouTube's policy, right? They have a three strikes you're out policy. So they don't want to censor you immediately right off the bat if you make one mistake, but they do want there to be some penalties. So removing him from this preferred ad program is supposed to really hit him where it hurts. This is a program where they bundle their top content creators and they put them in front of premium advertisers and they really guarantee these creators some revenue. So he's going to take a hit to his bank account, but his channel is still up, still up and yeah. he has 15 million followers. He's going to continue to make ad revenue and and I guess it's up to his followers to, if they want to tune in. Why is his channel still up if they took these acts? As I said, they have this three strikes you're out policy. The internet, all these tech companies, they want to be inherently open. Censorship is something they take extremely seriously. And so they they say that, you know, if you if you if we've told you three times, you're out. But he's he's made one mistake, he's twenty two, and I think they're giving him the benefit of the doubt, leaving his channel up, but imposing some repercussions. They're also removing him from some of his original shows that would have made him a lot of money as well. But is he should there be policy? Policy changes because YouTube didn't take down that offensive video. Logan Paul right. took down that offensive video. Some people say it took so long even for YouTube to act. Right. Well, the thing is, that video very clearly violated YouTube's existing policies. Yeah. So it's not so much that they need a policy change, it's that they need a moderation change. So they have committed to hiring 10,000 more moderators in 2018. The question is, is that ever going to be enough? You know, they have 400 hours of video going up every single minute. Mm -hmm. So they're using a combination of technology, algorithms that automatically flag violent content, uh, and also human moderators, but they run the risk of missing certain videos and then overreaching on the other end of the spectrum. I mean, here's kind of the, the, the conundrum, is that provocative content is what draws people to YouTube, mm -hmm. right? And this YouTube profits off that provocative content. So they don't want to shut down what is a revenue stream, right? Exactly. That's the, mo that's the business model of the internet. Facebook faces this problem. Twitter faces this problem. Their entire business model is set up to, to benefit virality. Uh, so the more viral a video is going to go, the better it is for YouTube. So I think that you know, whenever YouTube ends up coming out to explain why this video stayed up for so long, that's going to have to be part of the conversation. Was the decision made that this video was so beneficial to your business that it was able to stay up and you maybe made excuses for it, despite the fact that it did very clearly violate the policies? Logan Paul didn't respond to our request, but he did uh, take down the content and he said in a tweet he's taking time to reflect. So what's next for him? I think he's going to return at some point. Uh, we can take uh, an example from PewDiePie, who was another YouTube creator, perhaps their most uh, their most successful one. And around this time last year, uh, he faced similar repercussions because a lot of his content, it turned out, contained anti-Semitic and racist content. Uh, and so he was removed from the preferred ad program. He was removed from some original content. He's still up and running still and doing, doing really well. well. Yes, right. he is. Izzy Lepowski, thank you so much for joining us this morning.